Dear sisters and brothers, it's my privilege to speak to you today. First of all, let me congratulate you and the organizers for this important event. As you know, we live in a world where over 215 million children are engaged in various forms of child labor. Many of them are victims of slavery, forced labor, trafficking, and all sorts of abuses and exploitation. They work in agriculture sector, they are engaged in mining, they are forced to work in uh, factories and workshops. But let me tell you that one of the most heinous crimes or hidden forms of this modern day slavery is child domestic labor. Today, over 15 and a half million children are working as child domestic laborers. Is it not a shame that on one hand we are trying our best to send our children to best schools? We are looking after our children to give them best careers and best opportunities and best future. But on the other hand, we enslave and entrap a young child to work for you and your children. This is intolerable. This is unacceptable. Children are cheapest source of labor. They are forced to work long hours a day. They are exposed to hazardous situations and hazardous uh, work. They have to handle with knives, cutters, chemicals. I come across children who have got, got burns on their bodies while working in kitchen. Many children are suffering from uh, different kind of sickness due to inhaling of uh, chemicals while washing and cleaning. I come across many young girls who were forced to work and then they were raped. I have rescued a young bonded child laborer. He was six year old and when he was sick, he was not given any food. He was hungry and when he drank some milk, which was the leftover milk of his master's son, the, the masters became very angry and all the body of the six year old was brutally burned. We have taken him to hospital. Somehow his life was saved. But the life of another girl was not saved. She has been complaining to her father that her master is not a good guy. Twelve year old was pregnant and she has committed suicide. This is the situation of children not only in India or in Panama, all over the world. Children are taken from their home countries and hometowns to rich places and rich countries as domestic help. This is most invisible and cruel exploitation of boys and girls. Friends, International Labour Organization this year has decided to observe 12th of June, the World Day Against Child Labour on the focus of domestic health domestic child labor, very simple, and domestic child labor. Make sure that all the adults and adult domestic helps are given justice. Global March Against Child Labor has also launched a massive campaign worldwide in conjunction with World Day Against Child Labor. We are focusing in three major countries and Panama is one of them. On one hand, Global March in association with a number of other human rights organizations has demanded for the earliest ratification of ILO Convention 189 on domestic labor. Unfortunately, so far only seven countries have ratified this convention. So we demand speedy ratification by the parliament. On the other hand, we have also given a call to mobilize masses 
mobilize all stakeholders to put an end to this child slavery. Friends, we cannot tolerate it anymore. And therefore, I call upon you today to boycott all the services and products made by domestic child labor. First of all, you must not engage in dom any domestic help at your home, any domestic child labor at your home, and also at your friends' places. But more importantly, you must have courage to boycott any of the hospitality at any place. It could be your relative or even your boss, those who employ child domestic labor. Simply say no to them. Give a mess message, give a strong message that child domestic labor is unacceptable to you. You must also call upon your politicians that they must make strong laws in their countries. And if there are laws, they must be properly enforced. Education is key to child labor elimination. Education is key to human liberation. And child labor, and particularly the domestic child labor, is one of the biggest impediment in receiving education. Without education, no one can get social justice, economic equality and justice, equity in the society. We cannot get rid of poverty. And therefore, we must make all our efforts to end child domestic labor now. We are already very late, my friends. Therefore, once again I call upon you that this conference must not remain simply a conference, but when you go back home, make sure that it creates ripple effect. It engages more people. It engages more stakeholders. And put pressure not only on your government, but mobilize and sensitize the entire Panama, your entire country, so that you will see a day very soon that all children are in schools and no child is trapped into child slavery as child domestic help in any home. Thank you so much.